Hey guys, how's it going? Meddler here. I've got another challenge lock video. This is yet another challenge lock that I got from Charles Builds Crap. And this one is a lock built by Starry Lock. It comes in this awesome bag here. And the lock is called right here. Bordello on Deadwood by Starry Lock. So this is what we're going to try and pick today. Um, and while I get this viced up, um, just wanted to shout out Starry Lock. If I, I'm guessing that most people who watch this channel have watched Starry Lock's videos, but if you have not, I highly recommend watching his videos. In my opinion, Starry Lock is a pillar of our community. He does so much to help other lock pickers and just help the community out. And he's just, he's he's got a great channel. Go check him out. He's awesome. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Uh, the last time that I had this set up, I was having some issues with the camera angle and then got interrupted halfway through trying to pick the lock so we're just gonna start over again and i'm hopefully in a better location better angle so that this all goes well so at these uh this is a schlag keyway um personally i'm curious if anybody else found a better way to deal with this or is just better at controlling their picks but um, I have a hard time with the pick falling down into this bottom groove and getting stuck down there not being able to hit the pins so I just take a tension tool and put it in there so that that doesn't happen and then it's able to stay in this groove on the left I've not picked very many um, schlage keyways so i'm still kind of getting used to the shape of them all right so onto the back click on pin six yeah drop my Tension wrench. Let's try that again. Nothing on five. There we go, something on three. Dropped into a bit of a false set. Nothing on two. Little click on one. Nothing on six. Feels like six. Well, no. Maybe I'm getting counter rotation on six. Let's try and get under it a little bit better. No. I just overset six instead. There we go. That was six. Little click on four. Nothing on three now. Little click on two. Click on one.
nothing on six. Click on five. Nothing on three. Counter on two, maybe. I feel like I'm just oversetting that. I feel like I'm just missing like one thing. Struggling with this today. Okay, let's just make sure everything's sitting okay in there. I know I was getting better feedback on this last time, so let's try this again. Little click on four, nothing on three, nothing on two, click on one. Click on six. Five is definitely binding. Just keep oversetting some pins. There we go. Click on two. Click on one. One, two, three. All feel good. There we go, there's a good deep false set. Took longer than it should have, I think. Counter on two. Or is this one? I think this is one. Yeah, that's one. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. And we're open. That was, are we open? Yes, we're open. All right, that was a little tricky. Let's take this apart and see what's inside of it. All right, and there we go. There's the pins. That's a pretty neat, looks like a, you call this a pin and pin, I believe. That's pretty cool. And then, pretty deep there, and looks like some spools with serrations in them. Some pretty neat stuff in there. And then, of course, lots of, uh, serrated uh, key pins, which is exactly why I kept getting over sets. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun lock to pick. Thanks, Starry Lock, for putting this together. Um, and yeah, I'll get this put back together and send it on to somebody else. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend. Bye.